Steve the Marine Jackhammer is the name, and I'm here to reconstruct these lollygagging sidewalkers. I discovered I had a long lost evil twin brother. The only difference between us was his villain mustache. He was also hypnotized by tobacco. Must. Buy. Smokes. I confronted him and asked, are we brothers? Maybe. I then told him, you got a good taste in hairstyles, that's for sure. Yeah, my hair is great. Greatly average. Well, I'll follow you then, great hair. Sounds good, my man. I was more armored up than a conspiracy theorist with a tinfoil hat ready for combat. I was equipped with an assault rifle and a shotgun. I planned on firing both at the same time since I have Terry Crews sized cannons for that kind of support. However, I couldn't have my guns out during the meeting, so I stashed them in my hidden locker. I spent like 20 minutes getting ready. I came back and the prep room was looking like a grocery store before a big storm. I barely made it on the shuttle. It was almost packed as tight as a slave ship, bodies on top of bodies, but we actually signed up for this. My middle class passage took me to my destination. My first discovery was a guy cut in half. His blood splat resembled the Nickelodeon logo, so it was kid friendly. I finally met back up with my squad. What up? Same shit as always, Holmes. Keeping shit real on the streets. We were thugged out, but that didn't stop the mortar strikes. It was raining death from above and my comrade Checkers was hit. Damn, that was a direct hit right there. That guy's definitely dead. Rest in pieces, you brave soldier. I was glad to see that my evil twin brother was still alive. Steve, I am deaf as fuck. They dropped a bomb on my ass. I am going to have to try to read lips. Oh hey, my hearing came back. <laughs> We had more barricades set up than police do in order to protect pesky protesters. I then pissed off some tryhard for standing behind him with my gun. Can you not put your gun up and stand right behind me? I'll say this, Steve. You managed to shoot me and I'll shock on your ass five feet back. Lower your damn rifle or don't stand behind me with it up. It's not like I was gonna John Wilkes booth his ass. He needed to calm down. After that, I was kind of bored. We were just standing around, and I was really hungry. That was weighing heavy on my mind. I'm gonna go see if this place has a waffle house. There's a waffle house? So it looks like Checkers was down for the typical 3 a.m. drunken journey. I also heard that guy try to rain on our parade before we left. There ain't no waffle house, but feel free to get shot by CLF. We were out looking for loot but it seems like a riot already went through this building. I wonder where more loot is. God damn, commies taking stuff. We found a bar, which is basically a waffle house. The only problem was the door was locked. The checkers had an idea. Stand back. I'm going to try the Texas method. We started shooting at the door, and then some dork questioned our tactic. What are you doing? Huh, <laughs> bulletproof doors. They thought of everything. We took a snack break because we finally found some food. Even if it was from a machine, you can't be picky in a war zone. We met up with some fellow marines, which doubled our squad size. I wonder who came into this battle swinging a meat cleaver. Anyways, the squad split up when we ran into some action. We were fashionably late to the bullet party. I start trading shots with the enemy like I was trying to poison them, but instead I use lead poisoning. Whoa, watch out for these marksmanship skills. I got these enemies running for the hills. Never mind, I almost died. Good thing this guy was around to drag my sorry ass back. It was awfully cloudy, but some drugs helped clear that up. It was right back to the front lines for me, because I'm brave. You better watch out, because I'm gunning people down now. I'm doing better at this than I do at Counter-Strike. I then played chicken featuring bullets with this guy. We stood still to see who could take the most shots, and I think I won. This reminds me of a quote from Ice-T's heavy metal band, Body Count, the winners lose it all someday. Then, checkers try to get me back into the action. I can serve Steve's body as a barricade. I was a barricade earlier, myself. I'm fine with being a meat shield. 
and at this point, I was blind, so all I really could do was be a meat shield. Well, to nobody's surprise, I got shot to death. I didn't even know where the bullets came from, but at least I absorbed them before my fellow marines could. How noble.